Everson Walls was destined to be one of the all-time cowboy greats. But a funny thing happened on the way to the Cowboys' ring of fame. A change in management and the youth movement that followed left the still talented Walls a player without a team. I think they just really felt that uh, with me being uh, outspoken, uh, with me being a, a guy that all the younger guys and, and guys even at my, at my age looked up to to uh, go to the coach and say some things that might need to be said, I think they looked at that as a distraction. More than anything else, uh, a business decision, and I think Averson understands that, and I'm just, I'm happy that he's been able to find a home there in New York. When I first met him, I mean, we got along very well. He came up to me and said some things, and, and that I had never had a coach say to me before in a very positive manner. And then all of a sudden when things started going good, I was looked at as a scapegoat. I started, I'm sorry, it started going bad. I was looked at as a scapegoat. In a classic case of the rich getting richer, Bill Parcells and the Giants scooped up Walls as a free agent. By week one, he was a starter with an interception against the Eagles. I just felt personally that, hey, this is a guy that, that may have some football left and just maybe got caught in a situation where the team was in transition with a new coach, and, and they were trying to, you know, get new players, which always happens. He's given us some uh, some leadership back there. You know, he's uh, been in the league. Uh, this is his tenth year. He knows the game. He knows um, uh, his way around the secondary. So he's given us a lot of leadership back there. The Giants were glad to add another Pro Bowler to their already dominant defense. Everson Walls has found new life in New York. But today at Texas Stadium, he will not only reunite with his former teammates, he will make a return to his hometown. It's really hard to anticipate how I'm going to feel, how I'm going to be received. And regardless of how I'll be received, I know that, uh, you know, that's where I made my mark. Uh, when you think of Everson Walls, I don't care how long I play with the Giants, you think Dallas Cowboys. If Jimmy Johnson's anywhere near the sidelines, Everson may choose to forget the receiver and take the shot. I just can't see myself being any less than, than highly, highly motivated. A lot of fans, and myself among them, have wondered over the years, why do quarterbacks tend to throw so much at Everson? Well, in talking to Giants defensive coordinator Bill Belichick, he says he runs a little faster, he jumps a little higher than you think, and most of all, he has long arms that able, enable him to react once he's beaten and make up three or four yards to the football. And you know, one of us, the reason I tried to throw a lot to him is I want to see him get that record of being the all-time leading interceptor. <laughs> I mean, we all have our different motivations. Mine was to see if I could take the guy to the top. One other thing about him is he always kept an eye on the quarterback and the receiver.